Good morning, angels. I'm Nicole Espinosa, and I want to introduce you to something that is very special and dear to my heart. My beautiful friend Maureen Moore, who is the admin on Light Language Life on Facebook group, has asked for us to share our stories of light language and how this beautiful communication has appeared in our lives. I first stumbled upon light language back in 2014 when I put together a group for my father when he told me one day that he was quite lonely living alone at age mm, 79, I think back then. And I said, hey, I can help with that. Let me put together a group called Fun and Active Single Seniors where we got together once a month to go do something fun together. There was a gal in that group who introduced to me the concept of light language. And as it came out of her mouth, it sounded like gibberish to me. But I put it on a back burner and said, okay, doesn't quite resonate with me yet. I wasn't quite open to the idea. So I put it on the back burner and not until I believe it was 2020 when a friend of mine named Ingrid introduced it again. Actually with Maureen, we were, we were in a WhatsApp group together. We were talking about light language and Ingrid said, hey, I can teach you. I can teach you light language. So I said, okay, I wanna learn how to do it. And our schedules never matched up. I'm gonna take you guys to my stairs where I'm gonna work out this morning. You're gonna feel a little jolt of energy from the stairs as I tell my light language story. So let's get to it. I'm taking you guys with me on my morning here, <clears throat> living with my dad, taking care of him as he has dementia right now. He lives in Pacific Palisades. Not a bad place to be, my friends. So, yes, as I went to work out on the stairs in the Santa Monica Canyon, another set of stairs, I was thinking, oh, you know what? I can't wait for <laughs> Ingrid to teach me how to speak light language. I think I know how to do this already. I said, you know what? After I did a set of stairs, I'm gonna get ready to do one with you angels. I felt energized and I went and hugged my favorite tree and I just opened my mouth, connected to my heart, and I let the gibberish fly. Light language is a galactic language of the heart that bypasses the brain. It's just connected directly to the heart. And we have origin points, races where we come from, where we've lived lives before. And I have a couple dialects that I focus in on the most. The first one that came through for me was uh, Mantid, Insectoid, and then a little bit later came through Dragon. Lots of clearing with my inner dragon. So I'm gonna take you guys on my stairs with me. All right, not bad. Let's do a little set here. And when I first here, let's switch sides. So you can see some beauty here. When I first let it fly, I couldn't believe what was coming out. It felt like home to me. It felt like I was cracking myself wide open 
And I find it so interesting and so beautiful that Maureen asked us to introduce ourselves and how we discovered light language in the middle of the most powerful week of the year energetically. It's March 24th, 2023 right now. And I have a little Hummer saying hello right here in the orange sacral chakra opening flowers. Okay, we're gonna run them. Oh, okay. And it was something so spectacular to be connected to light language where I felt myself connecting with others through the ethers. We are never alone, ever. And light language is gonna catch on more and more because people are gonna discover who they are. And this energetic time right now was spring equinox earlier in the week, then the new moon, then the crescent moon was hiding Jupiter. And we're coming to the point where I feel this energetic flip within us. Could be the brain heart access, the heart sacral, all of them together. And I love that Maureen I love that and I love that Maureen is having us introduce ourselves and light language right in the middle of this very very powerful energetic week. You guys are going to feel it in the video. And I'm going to take you guys down to the beach because that's what I do in the mornings to meditate. We're going to add a little light language to it today. All right. You're going to feel it. I'm also going to show a little clip. Hopefully if I still have it from my first light language experience. I felt myself at that time connecting with the tree I was hugging, connecting to all things and each other and humanity. I am here on the planet for humanity who is waking up at the time to their beautiful power. We are waking up to our power and it's spectacular. <laughs> People are going to step into supernatural abilities. I actually feel some psychic gifts coming online. Somehow I feel this ability to speak with dead people. <laughs> and I feel a few of them lining up, waiting to get messages to their loved ones. And uh, I felt my crown tingling when I was talking to one last week. It was just a one-way conversation now, but uh, through light language, we can feel this connection with all. And this is what's happening for me I am living with my father now and I find myself, let's do another set babies. I find myself in periods of needing quiet. <laughs> uh, dementia is a very interesting phenomenon. It is a grand teacher of self love where I have to show up for myself just as much as I show up for my father. It's a beautiful thing. And I find myself, the only place of solitude in my father's house is in the bathroom. And even then he's knocking on the door. Where did you go? Major separation anxiety for him. I think he's feeling the pull to the other side soon. So he doesn't want me out of his sight because he's scared. He thinks he's a one lifer, worm food, lots of fear but that's why I'm here. 
in his last chapter, I feel, to help him understand there's more to it all, baby. There's much more to it all. So let's do another set. So I find myself on the pot and all of a sudden frustration from my situation of not having solitude comes out in spontaneous light language. I just open my mouth and out it flows. And it absolutely calms me, energizes me, centers me, brings me to zero point and all is well again. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to a little light language down at the beach. It's very interesting because <clears throat> there is, you know, if people judge because they don't understand it, that's okay. That's okay. We can be who we are, dancing to the beat of our own drum, no matter what, no matter what, it's okay. We're here to introduce this stuff. Just like Maureen, bless you, Angel. You have created a safe haven for those learning what it is, those who have had it in their lives forever. When we were kids, Weren't we making up languages? What was that? That was me. You know, it was a beautiful thing. All right, let's, let's do another. That was two. I have another six sets to go. Then we'll hit the beach. Setting the intention to let our hearts become our drivers and let our solar plexus give us the will, the strength, and the confidence to, to step beautifully out into our dreams, connecting to our solar plexus to birth the new, this golden chapter of ours. Let the light language begin. <laughs> to clear the way. Wow. 